Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for following and if you are new, thanks for tuning in. We are now on my fourth day of my 30 day vlog plan challenge and today I'll be discussing some of the plans that are still recuperating from the thrift that I had from last year. And you guys, I just cannot contain my happiness because even though they're growing slowly, they're giving me hope. So stay tuned because I'll be sharing with you the things that I'm doing for their recovery. Start with this little guy over here this is my ace of a spade you guys i made a video of me repotting of my plants from perlite transitioning to coco core and it's been a month now or two and it's giving me a lot of roots in the bottom and it's shooting new leaves so i'm i'm pretty happy i'm keeping this one in the box that i have which i got it from ikea anthurium loves in a humid space or in a humid area and they seem liking the humidity inside of the box so so i don't know how long am i gonna keep them in there so i'm just gonna leave it as it is so the next one here is my crystal hope and sadly after the thrips i had it ruined the leaves of this plant i'm gonna show you how it looks like before and you guys i just don't know how to bring this plant into a normal size or at least a bigger one because I saved this using a stem propagation so I don't know I don't really know how am I gonna bring them into big sizes we will see what's gonna happen in in a couple of months so the next plan here is my oops <laughs> so the next plan here is my anthurium for getty eye this plan here is I got it from Ico General and you guys I've been keeping this one in the box together with the two anthuriums and like you said they seem liking the moisture and humid inside of the box so i don't want to take them out from the box because i don't know how they're going to transition into a real world so for now i'm gonna leave them as long as they want it so for this one as you guys can tell the leaf is still growing and it's still young so i don't know how long it's gonna get bigger because it damages all of the leaves and even the stem so i was able to save the stem at least and propagate it in perlite and it multiplied a lot of roots and then it shoot one leaf so i decided to transition it into coco core it seems that they're liking the moisture and humid inside of the box so i don't know i don't know exactly when am i going to remove it or take it out from that box because they're loving it in there <laughs> so yeah um, as you guys can tell this leaf is pretty big now it's still growing i just want to show you the close look you see how beautiful the veins are and this one doesn't have any sinus on it so you guys can see it's pretty beautiful and it's big as well so this one comes only with one leaf at the moment but i'm hoping it will produce more leaves inside of the box so I will be updating you with this plant. So the things that I'm doing on how they're recovering well is placing them in a big box. That's pretty much it. I don't water them. I use coco core mixed with perlite and I'm just keeping all the interns that are struggling inside of the box and it seems that they're working their way on multiplying their roots and producing a lot of leaves so i'm very happy if you guys have anthuriums any type of anthuriums and it's not really doing well because you don't have a good humidity in your place i highly suggest to place them in a box or anything that it's secured that the air is not coming out a glass container that is huge enough to place them which produce moisture inside and if you are taking care of them indoor, they love to be in a secured or closed area. So highly recommend to use that technique because it's 100% that it's going to work. And I don't really water them. Like I never water them. I'm just using coco core with perlite, which I think it helps because, uh, you know, they're in inside the box and it produced a lot of moisture and that's their source and of course the humid inside of the box because it's really hot right so tendency there's no air is coming out there's no room for air to get in and that's why moisture is building inside of the box 
I don't know exactly when am I going to take them out from the box because like I said they're liking inside so as long as they're growing pretty well just leave it as it is yes that's all for these uh, struggling plants that I have thank you for watching and thank you for listening and I hope the information I shared with you guys will help your struggling plants to recuperate and recover from stress until then thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe follow me on my instagram adults plan and i will see you soon on my next video